everyone, how's it going? Uh, I'm Glenda and uh, welcome to the Retirement Lady channel. Uh, today, one of the things I wanna cover today, because I get this question a lot, is Glenda, should I leave my 401k with a former employer? So I'm gonna kinda help you walk through that and, and give you some pros and cons on that. Um, for those of you that don't know what a 401k is, we got a lot of work to do, but I assure you, it is not the number of years that you have until retirement. That would be way too many. I know some of you don't feel that way though. It's not the number of times you log into your account to see what the balance is because of this crazy volatility that we're having in the market. So wipe those clean, that's not what this is, okay? But I will say that a 401k is probably one of the most important retirement accounts you will ever have. So it's really important to understand the ins and outs of these. Um, now let's face it, most of us have probably had more than one job change throughout their careers. Is that a fair statement? Okay. Um, so a lot of times what happens when you change your job, sometimes you just leave the 401k there. It, it's still yours but it's not something that you think of very often. And reality is, is it's gonna be years before you can even touch it. So a lot of people just kind of leave it there. So that, and that's an option, you can do that, but you can also do a rollover. Uh, when done correctly is penalty free, tax free, all of that. Um, and the main question is probably why? Why would I wanna do that? There's a couple of reasons. One of them is more options for investing. So basically you have multiple ideas of things that you can do with that money within the investment world. A 401k usually only has a finite number of options available versus, you know, especially if you're working with an advisor who's familiar with the market and, and how it works, uh, you can see some other benefits to investing differently than your 401k was. So one of the reasons that uh, I think it is important to roll over your 401k is because of the beneficiaries. Now, it's a good possibility, I won't say good possibility, it's a possibility that your life is a little different now than it was when you first started working. So your beneficiaries might look a little bit different from year to year or from job to job, right? And guess what? A lot of time people forget to update their beneficiaries. So you have to be very careful about that. Some people think, well, I'll just make sure I mention them in the will. Well, guess what? Beneficiaries on these accounts will trump whatever is put in a will. So the beneficiaries are extremely important and you need to make sure that they are updated regularly. Now, if you have multiple 401ks with former owners, let's face it, it's a lot of paperwork or if you're just getting digital, it's a lot of emails uh, and even you have trouble keeping up with what you have and where it's at and how's it doing, should I make a change, what's the beneficiary look like, all of that stuff. So it's extremely important that you have the ability to bring all that together to make it easier, not only on yourself, but your beneficiaries. God forbid something happens to you that wasn't supposed to happen. Let's make this as easy as possible and get all of our stuff together. Agreed? Um, I'm curious, how many of you have more than two 401ks, right? More than three, maybe four? In the comment section below, go ahead and, and just put a number in there. I'm curious to know how many job changes you've had in your career. Uh, and then even, you don't necessarily have to put in there how many 401ks you have, but that would be an interesting conversation to say the least. So the bottom line is, is there's really no wrong or right to this. You don't have to roll them over. I'm just saying from a bookkeeping point of view and, and peace of mind, 
if you get them all together, then it's just easier for everyone to keep track of and easier to not overcomplicate things. So I hope that makes sense. It's a simple thing. Uh, if you want help doing it, because again, that is critical. We don't wanna uh, trigger any taxes or penalties. Uh, and I'm familiar with that process. So if that's something you're interested in doing and bringing it all together, reach out to me and we'll make it happen for you. So I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.